Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know long time no see. The last couple of months have been a bit chaotic and I just had to take a step back deal with some stuff but I'm still here and I'm gonna try and start back posting twice a week so just keep an eye out for some videos coming up soon. So to get things started and rolling again I actually have some polishes to share with you for my untried regular nail polish stash. I didn't get through the bin like I wanted to but I'm still going to keep going. Keep going and see how far I get by December 31st. So this brand that I'll be sharing with you is called Canvas Lacquer. I actually picked these up when we had the Indie Expo Canada. It was the first one I've ever went to. And unfortunately, this brand is no longer around. But I still wanted to share these polishes with you guys. So if you'd like to see my thoughts and opinions in regards to this brand, keep on watching. So the first polish I'll be sharing with you from the brand Canvas Lacquer that unfortunately is no longer in business. This one is called Blinky the Fish. So this is from the Simpsons episode and I don't know if you guys watched Simpsons or if anybody remembers any of the episodes but this is the one where that mutated fish has like three, is it three eyes? Yeah, three eyes because of all the sewage from Mr. Burns' plant. a medium orange corally leaning polish as you can see it is a bit sheer with that first coat it seems like it is a really pretty color though I'm hoping that when I do maybe a second or even a third coat it will build up to full opacity even better but you can see that there is some gorgeous shimmer running through this as well and here we have blinky the fish in three coats as you can see with that third coat it really built up to full opacity very nicely it is still a bit just a tad bit sure at the tip but that's nothing too bad I really really like how this built up I don't usually lean towards orangey corals like this but this would have been a really nice color for the summer and here is Blinky the fish against my skin tone. As you can see, it's a lot more opaque on the swatch stick here. Like where the top part of the swatch stick where my nail is, you definitely can't see that red under that. So I really, really like that about it. Again, this is not a color that I would personally wear just because I find colors like these. Me personally, I just don't like them against my skin tone, but it is a really pretty color regardless. So the next polish that I will be sharing is called Electric Avenue. And you know already that I'm in love with this. Like, <laughs> it is so gorgeous. So Electric Avenue is a stunning purple, I want to say a mixture between a jelly and a crelly. As you can see it is a bit sheer with the first coat. It does have some holographic purple glitters and some micro purple glitters in there as well. And there is some shimmer running through this as well. It is so so pretty. I have high hopes for this one once it gets built up. Here is Electric Avenue in three coats. So as you can see, there is some sparseness over here, but it did actually build very nicely, if you would stop tripping out my camera, to full opacity in three coats. Very, very pretty. I love the glitter payoff with this one. I mean, of course, guys, I'm going to be biased. It's purple, so <laughs> you know I was going to love it. And here is Electric Avenue against my skin tone. Of course I'm in love with it. I mean, it's purple. Well, I don't understand what you guys are going to expect me to say. <laughs> I will say though that I was expecting it to be a little bit more opaque. Like you can kind of see the color. Well, not even the color, but you can kind of see my nail under the swatch stick. But you're not like, you can't really see the color per se. But even with that, the glitter payoff was really good. So I still... I would still have worn this. This is this this is a very pretty one. 
So this one is called Camp Krusty. Again, another polish based off of The Simpsons. So this one is based off of um, Krusty's Summer Camp. And we all know, for those of us anyway that watch The Simpsons, <laughs> how Krusty's Summer Camp was. You can see here that um, the polish did settle a little bit because again, this is for my untried stash and I've had this for God knows how long. So like this is my first time using it and sharing it with you guys. So that's all it is, but I've shaken up the bottle and once I apply it, you'll see that the difference doesn't show up. So this is a rich turquoise blue curly and it has some subtle shimmer running through it. It does look like a very lovely color. Again, you can see that the first coat is a bit sheer and I'm hoping that these build up really nicely with the second and or third coat if I need one. And this is Camp Krusty in three coats. Initially, I technically could have stopped with just two, but I wanted to go with a third coat because I was just seeing like a slight bald spot in this area. But now with the third coat that fully covered it and it is really opaque, I really like this. It's almost like a Tiffany blue to me, but like more turquoise leaning is really really gorgeous and here's cam crusty against my skin tone definitely a color i could say that i could see myself wearing as you can see very very opaque you definitely cannot see that red that is on my nail and i just love this this is another beautiful color for summertime like i know we're getting into winter and christmas but I said I was going to try and get through this pile and I didn't complete it so you know what I'm just going to keep pushing through and see how far I get before the end of the year. This is nice for what? This is so pretty just even in the bottle. And this means that it's a thermal so when it's warm it's going to change to a different color and when it's hot it's going to change to a different color. I mean when it's cold it's going to change to a different color and when it's hot it's going to change to a different color. <laughs> Right now in its warm state this is a gorgeous nude with some turquoise blue shimmer running through it obviously it is a bit sheer and I'm I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like when I build it up and then I'll try to get it to transition for you guys so we can see what it looks like when it is cool And this is nice for what in three coats in all honesty guys I actually wasn't sure how this was gonna build up but to my surprise this is fully opaque and just look at the shift in this it is absolutely gorgeous and here we have nice for what in three coats look at this you know what this actually is a color that I technically I wouldn't gravitate towards just because again I find certain colors they don't look as appealing against my skin tone that is just my preference and my personal opinion but this one this is a beauty and imagine it with some nail art too stunning this is surreal teal already I can tell that this is going to be a shimmer polish and you can even see like the shift in the shimmer there's some gold shift with it absolutely beautiful So this is a medium teal green again this has the shimmer in it that I talked about earlier and it does have a shift with the shimmer so the shimmer shifts from gold to blue I really really do like this color I'm just <laughs> really sad with how sheer it is I'm hoping that it builds up really nicely and fully opaque but we'll have to see And here is three coats of surreal teal so this one has that like shimmer frost finish so remember i explained to you guys in videos prior that with this kind of finish you can see the streaks and the lines so with just regular nail polish you could actually go in a latex free sponge and just apply the third coat like that i don't really mind the streakiness 
like to me it kind of like self levels once it starts to dry anyway but as you can see it is a bit slightly slightly um see through here at the tip and i don't know if it's just because of this tip or my application but either way i still really think it's a really pretty color and here's surreal teal against my skin tone again i don't know this is one that i'm not even sure if i would wear it is pretty but again there's just certain colors and for me personally i hesitate and i don't really gravitate towards too much but it is beautiful oh this would be really cute with like some snowflakes up next is the dora milage milage i honestly i'm pretty sure i'm butchering this name but look at how gorgeous this red is perfect for christmas So this was actually based off of Black Panther and this one was for the fighting force that is compromised of all women. As you can tell this was based off of the color of their uniforms that gorgeous red. So this is a deep burgundy red and it's got some gold shimmer running through it. It is so beautiful. And here's the Dora, Dora Milaje, look, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Dora Milaje in just three coats, gorgeous red. Like, this is absolutely perfect for this time of year. And it's almost close to this one that I have on my fingers. Just this one has more like shimmer to it. And this one is actually not matte. I just added a matte top coat to it. The second last polish that I'll be sharing with you is called Vibranium Power. It is tripping out my camera, but look at how stunning this is, guys. Ugh, I love blues like this too. So this is a navy blue Corelli and it's got some shimmers in there. It has got some holographic glitters in there, micro glitters. I was hoping for more glitter payoff. Maybe I'll get some of the second coat, but definitely not gonna get too much opaque because jelly polishes more have that like glass like see-through finish, but it's still a really nice. <laughs> This is Vibranium Power in three coats. So remember I did tell you this one isn't going to build to a full covered opaque look like the others because this is a jelly and with jelly finishes you usually get like this glassy see-through type of finish. But I don't usually care for jellies personally but this one I would wear for sure. It is so so pretty and I just love blues like this and then the glitters really give it that depth and dimension and this is vibranium power against my skin tone I really like it even though it's a jelly I, I actually do adore it and of course you can see the nail under it because again like I explained jellies are more see-through what you could do with a jelly polish whether it's regular nail polish or even gel nail polish you could do like a sandwich effect which is like one layer of the polish and then you could do like a stamping design and then you could go in with another layer and then the same image you use but like angle it differently so it would kind of look like it's just layered on top of one even what on top of each other it's really cool and last but not least this is called zap Oh, guys, look at how beautiful this is. I love complex polishes like this. I really wish it stopped tripping on my camera, though. So this is a black Corelli. There are some multi-chrome flakies in here. There's some silver glitter in here. There's some silver flecks in here as well. Oh, such a stunning polish. And I just love the multi-chrome flakies in here. Absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to see what this is going to look like with the second or third. <laughs> And 
last but not least we have zap in three coats another jelly but because of the color this one is a bit more opaque and remember it does have the flakies as well so that helped to make it opaque while building up the color but it is still so beautiful like look at the multi-chrome shift from these flakes i just i can't and here is zap against my skin tone i love it i don't usually wear blacks like that I don't know just my preference but because there's so much dimension going on with the flakes and everything it really gives depth to this polish and brings it to life for sure and then like the shift with that fine glitter ugh, this is absolutely amazing and here we have it guys for the eight polishes from the canvas lacquer brand so let me know what you guys think is there a favorite is there one that you could see yourself wearing i really really like they're all really good colors don't get me wrong but i really adored this one obviously this one this one and even the red like hands down if i had to pick my top four those would have been my top four as always guys thank you so much for watching my videos please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you have any comments and or questions, make sure to leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please do make sure to give this video a share if you know anybody that would be interested in it. And I will try to have what I can linked down below for you. I'll see if I can find any places that still might be carrying some of the canvas lacquer brand. But I'm not making any promises. Until next time, stay glamorous.